we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of blessings, acting as if it's me, me that did it. This goat has come. It's because our doing things by my strength. That's why I don't have blessings in my late age. My life's not working out. I'm suffering and causing my children to suffer. At this time, may we only become sheep. May we only give benefit to others. May all our diseases be healed. May this be a blessed time where we fix our destiny. May the demons that torment me all be cast out. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Today, let's become people who shine. If I shine, then we have blessings in our late age, our disease is healed, we become smart so that our children become smart, we have health, and we, we become people who shine. A life that shines. I shine and you make others shine. Why do you study so much? So, you know, when you get your graduation papers, it's, you know, we talk, that, we talk about the papers, you know, shining. You know, these people who get PhDs, you ask them what they want to become, and they're like, oh, I want to become someone who's praiseworthy. Well, what does that mean? It's someone who shines. So if you shine, then you have health. You want your disease healed, don't you? That's someone who shines. Why is it that people respect doctors? Because they heal my disease, they shine. Why do we call pharmacists, um, you know, praiseworthy? Because, because you know, they heal our disease. But in the world, they can't heal your disease. Someone who shines is someone who is healthy, someone who succeeds, someone who's smart. So if you're smart, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 18, your children become smart. So if your children become smart and they succeed and they're healthy, you know, in the world, if you succeed, you succeed as evil. But to succeed in a good way, you know, we call that a star. So according to the word, because we don't shine, you know, these adulterers who break up families and, you know, we think that these actors are stars. These people who don't even live as men. In the past, you know, these performers, these clowns weren't even treated as people. How can that be a star? Let's find Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. No matter what anyone says, let's shine. If I shine, then I become healthy. I succeed. My children become smart. Your children become healthy. How precious is this? So that's what it, that's how precious it is to shine. So let's find that. Daniel chapter 12, verse 3. Let's read it together. Those who have insight, wisdom, will shine brightly like the brightness of the expanse of heaven, and those who lead the many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Amen. So here, you can see that health comes, but you read it and you can't see about health. So we all want to become someone who shines. Well, who is it that shines? It says those who have wisdom will shine brightly, like the brightness of the expanse of heaven. In other words, you'll shine in the darkness and you lead the many to, to a good way, to forced at repentance, to returning to God. That is someone who shines forever. They shine like the stars, just like the stars shine in the darkness. So what does it say here? It's those who lead the many to the good way. That's someone who shines forever. So it doesn't just end with your name remaining forever. Starting from our presidents, from Lee Sigman, you see if any of them shone. It's either their families went to prison, they went to prison, Each one of them, not one of them left a good name. Why? Because they didn't know wisdom. So look here. Someone who has wisdom, they're like a, a, a bright light in the expanse of heaven. So what is this wisdom? 
James chapter 3, verse chapter 3, there's two types of wisdom. But here it's talking about the wisdom of the heart. So what do you have to do to receive wisdom? Let's find Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. So who is it that is wise? Well, it's someone who has light. What kind of person are they? Well, there's only two types of people in on this earth. Those who belong to the wise and those who are foolish. The foolish, Psalms chapter 107, verse 17, someone who is suffering right now. Because they don't repent, they have sin remaining. So because of their sin, their suffering, that is someone who is foolish. So someone who is someone who is foolish, not only will they suffer, but they'll go to hell because of their sin. And they can't say amen because they have demons inside of them. So to the wise, Proverbs chapter 15, verse, 20, to verse 12, they won't come to the wise. They'll go to the fake church where the foolish are gathering. So there's only two types of people. Let's read. He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Amen. So if you become someone with wisdom, you'll have health, you'll be happy, you'll go to heaven. It's not just me that does well. Because I become smart, my children become smart. So you become someone who shines. So receiving this, that's what this life of faith of doing four-step repentance is. So Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, there's only two types of people. If you go to the wise, you will receive wisdom. So the pastor has to have wisdom, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, to be a pastor. Without wisdom, you're a fake pastor. What? You came, you graduated from theological college and you laid hands on each other? What kind of lie is that? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. It's the wise man will will shine brightly. So you have to go to the wise to receive wisdom. It's like with like. So this wisdom, you have to go to the wise. Otherwise, it's foolishness. So what is this wisdom? Let's find Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. It's the best medicine. It's health. It makes your heart joyful. There's nothing as good as wisdom and knowledge. You become smart. Your body becomes healthy. If you look on TV, they invite some some respect worthy person, and and you know, you they say, what is it that people want the most? And they say, oh, health. What you think we were born to have health? Well, if you were never born, then you'd never be sick. They say these this beast talk. They say health is the best. Going to heaven is the best. And then these idiots, these foolish, you know, beasts that are perishing. They say, oh, as long as we go to heaven, we don't care if we're sick. If you're sick, there is no salvation. Because of sin, we have disease. So we have to get rid of our our sin to go to heaven. Psalms 103, verse 3. So just because they're all like that, should we follow after that? No, let's live. So Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. For wisdom will enter your heart and knowledge will be pleasant to your soul. Amen. So this wisdom... This worldly wisdom that is the beast level that goes in your head, it's not that wisdom. The wisdom of God goes into your heart. And the knowledge that God gives is in your heart. So do you become sad or do you become joyful? If you're joyful, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, if you have joy in the heart, that is the best medicine. So you have health. All your diseases will be healed. Wisdom heals all your diseases. You become smart. So if I receive this or my children receive this, that is the wisdom that goes to heaven. And that's why 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, without wisdom, you can't go to heaven. It's not by faith that you go to heaven. Faith is the start. But to not even know this and you attend church, that's why you're a faith. So who is someone that shines? Someone who is always joyful. Because they have wisdom and knowledge in their hearts, they're always joyful. Because they're smart, they know all things. And he also gives blessings of miracles. Let's find Proverbs chapter 3, verse 20. So who is someone that shines? They have these miraculous workings. So what are you doing? Oh, I want this to happen too. What, does God block it then? It's because you're not doing this that he makes you suffer. So you will become someone like this. 
So let's have this happen and pass it to our children. So we want our children to be smart and to do well. That's when you have blessings in your late age. Let's read together. What is knowledge? It's where miracles happen. By his knowledge, the deeps were broken up and the skies drip with dew. Amen. So what happens with knowledge? The sea parts. So miracles happen. And inside are all of these shellfish and and pearls and you know your whole family can eat as much as you want so if you want to become someone who shines you have to receive wisdom and knowledge that is a true pastor you have to go to the wise to receive wisdom so because you've come here you will receive wisdom so if you receive wisdom what happens well your hearts filled with joy because it's filled with joy, that's the best medicine. Let's find Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. So where do you get health? You have to receive God's wisdom and knowledge. So you go to heaven, you have health. So miracles happen, you become smart. You know the Red Sea, when it parted, do you just eat by yourself? The whole nation was able to stuff themselves. But did he give, you know, beef or did he give shellfish he gave shellfish you know these abalones and shellfish and octopus you know when the water parts what's left the seaweed and you know the lava and all the things good for your health and and then pearls let's all receive this blessing this is the wisdom and knowledge of god this is someone who shines you know, I didn't want to talk about, uh, tell you this, but I am. So what is it to shine? It's by four-step repentance that you shine. This is incredible. Let's read together. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. Amen. So how do you have this joyful heart? Proverbs chapter 2, verse 10. It's by knowledge. Because you've received wisdom, then wisdom because you've received wisdom knowledge comes and this is the best medicine so the true health is someone who's received god's wisdom and knowledge so if you go to the wise you become someone who shines that's why it's good that you've come here so is it just me that does well well that blessing goes down to your children 1 peter chapter 1 verse 18 so if you want your children to be healthy and to be smart don't go boiling bear's paws if you know bears paws were so good then all the bears would be you know so well off they say oh because bears paws you know they can they can live on top of the ice and they find well you know you, you might as well just eat the ice then but that's not what gives you health joy does it is the best medicine so wisdom and knowledge makes you smart. It makes miracles happen. Even if you research something, miracles will happen. So someone who shines is someone who has obtained wisdom. And then the second thing is that, the, that you lead many to the right way. But which religion or learning in this world has the right way it's only god who is good so we have to return to god let's find ephesians chapter 2 verse 13 how do we return to god by four-step repentance the blood of christ so if you do four-step repentance you receive wisdom and knowledge you return to god you make many return to the right way this is how you shine forever who is it that shines in the world what because you've received the nobel prize you know what's funny out of those people who received the Nobel Prize, there are some who oppose the war and some who don't. So they've all received the Nobel Prize. Why are they divided into two? Which is the truth then? They're all wrong. That's not how you become someone who shines. So here God has said you have to receive the wisdom that goes to heaven. So you have to go to the wise to receive it. And this wisdom... Miracles happen, you have health, your children become smart. We all have to receive this. And this is what a life of faith is. This is what we've come to receive. So those people who haven't been able to come here, it's very regretful, but still you can do well. So who is it that shines? 
Well, you lead many to the right way. So Korea, they don't know what heresy is, and yet they're sitting in a heritable church. So they should all write down, not doing false debt repentance is heresy. So then they'll know correctly. It's so sad, isn't it? The true don't have anything to say. It's the fakes that, that criticize. You know, that's that's what's so funny. So now let's let's get, let's proclaim this. So Ephesians chapter two verse thirteen. But now in Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Amen. So what's the way to get close to God? It's by the blood of Christ. Only God is good. Only God is right in all things, is good in all things. So we have to return to God to fix our destiny, to have our desires fulfilled. He knows what all our desires are. So someone who leads many back to God is someone who shines forever. But these fakes who don't do false step repentance, so what's the only way to return to God? It's God who said it's by the blood of Christ. And yet, people who are cursing forced out repentance, it's so sad, isn't it? So what is it saying here? It's not just to shine. It's someone who has all their diseases healed, where you're happy and healthy, where you're smart. And it doesn't matter how old you are, miracles will happen. Because if you have knowledge, miracles will happen. So how much money do you want in your life? You know, if you have just one miracle, it's, it's finished. But why doesn't he give to you? Well, even though you're not given, you're struggling. But if you're given, then you'll die. Why do you ruin your children? If you give money when they're not worthy, you know, they end up spending it, you know, on alcohol and, and or on gambling. They ruin their lives. You know, if you're, if you're filled with the, the poison of money and you spend all night gambling or those people who work late at night, you ask what their health is like. They say that they ruin their health. They say that as they do it. But when we do vigil, what happens? It's not just me that lives, our country lives. So even though it's the same thing, let's go the way of blessings. Let's go the way that's right in front of God. So who is it that ruins Korea? The fake pastors. They completely ruin the country. And that's why God says, these Pharisees, Sadducees who deserve wrath. So these fake pastors who don't do forced repentance, you see what happens to their children. You know, you see what happens to the descendants. You go to Europe. What happens to the descendants of these fake pastors? They don't go to church. And so they're all empty. As more and more time goes by, the descendants of fake pastors will be ruined even more. Matthew chapter 23. Who is it that deserves wrath? Those who have a fake faith. It's not that they don't believe. It's that they believe fakely. What, you say you're a pastor, that you attend church? And so denominations, factions, let's find Romans chapter 2, verse 8. They do not follow Jesus, the truth. They don't follow God's word. You've come here to become someone who shines. If you don't become someone who shines, will you go to heaven or not? Without wisdom, you can't go to heaven. So someone who shines automatically evangelizes. But who is it that you've evangelized? And when you evangelize, does it work? And yet you don't know. It says you have to lead many to the right way to shine forever. So how is it that I should live? So a life that shines is a life that goes to heaven. So your health is good, your heart's joyful, which is the best medicine, so you're healthy. And then this knowledge makes you smart, so you and your children are smart. Why is it that you've got a stone head and, you know, you look at people who, who are smart, they die early, 
They seem to have succeeded, but they ruin their country. That's how they end. You know, in the, whatever company they attend, they ruin it. Who ruined the Soviet Union? Those who were smart. So we can't become someone like that. We have to receive God's wisdom and knowledge. So without me realizing, if you don't become someone who's shining, if you can't make many go to the way of right, righteousness, then you're in darkness, which is light, which is evil. You see people who can't evangelize. You may try to evangelize, but does it work? At the beginning, if you're all burning up to evangelize, that's not burning. It's because you were you were dragged around by demons and then you start to become a little bit free so you're so happy but you yourself aren't doing well it's when your heart truly becomes it becomes real then it's the lord who evangelizes it's not me that does it it's the lord inside of me even though i go on the plane so much the so the managing director of in the plane there's there's some, there's a managing director in the plane so when I went to America last time, that's the first time I evangelized him. Before that, it wouldn't come out. I would just say, you know, live happily, you know, if you believe in God. That was it. But then all night long, until we arrived in America, him and the stewardesses, they said, oh, you know, we would keep, they said they'd keep it in their hearts and they would live like that. You know, that's the first time I evangelized. Before that, it wouldn't come out. So you need to have light to shine light. And just because you shine light, you know, God, if they hate, if they hate to, to retain God in their heart, then the words won't come out. So let's live correctly. Let's read. But to those who are selfishly ambitious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, wrath and indignation. Amen. So if you go to the places that make denominations, do you follow the truth or not? Who is the truth? Jesus. John chapter 14, verse 6. I am the way, the truth. So they say, they talk about Jesus, Jesus, and yet they do not follow the truth. These denominations that lie, that's me. It's you and me. So from today, let's go to the light. Let's only listen to the words of the wise. This wisdom that only God gives, which enters your heart. And with this wisdom, you become healthy. Not only to go to heaven, but you're healthy. You're always smiling, so you're happy. You become smart. Your children become smart. With this blessing, let's save others. Let's lead them to the right way. That's someone who is, that shines. Is this amen? So by the blood of Christ, we return to God. And you... You lead many to the right way. So what do we do with the blood of Christ? We do four-step repentance, Nehemiah chapter 9. So it's only by four-step repentance that we receive wisdom and knowledge. It's only by four-step repentance that you get to go to God and you receive wisdom and knowledge. So Jesus is the truth. John chapter 17, verse 17. Jesus, who is the truth, is the word. But these denominations, factions, they do not follow the truth. They're demons. And yet they still go around like that. How much do they want to receive disasters and curses? They need to eat up their children and ruin the country. So 2,000 years ago, the gospel entered Europe. But what's happened to Europe? More and more you see them being ruined. You see the church is empty. How much did they fight with those denominations? And what careers following after that? Let's not follow that and go to hell. Let's not kill ourselves and our children. Let's have all our diseases healed with joy. Let's be patriots to our country. Let's save our children. May I do more well. And to save many people. By forced their repentance, let's be victorious. So whatever comes to me today, quickly by the blood of Christ, let's repent of it as my sin and let's change it to wisdom and knowledge. Then I'll receive health and we'll get rid of those disasters and even that person will be led to the right way and will live a life that shines. Let's live a life 
that shines. It's Jesus who is the light. John chapter 8 verse 12. We will do more well. Let's all pray. Lord, all this time we've said Lord, Lord. We've said Jesus, Jesus. We've said God, God. But we've only gone the way of disasters and curses of being your enemy. That's why my problems weren't solved. My diseases became worse. And, and I passed those disasters and diseases to my children. Denominations and factions do not follow the truth. That's a religion of demons. Denying the Lord is heresy. Is there anyone who's still evil and not going to the light? May they return to the light. May we proclaim this. Starting from me, may we be servants of power who heal our disease, who overflow with joy and with this knowledge for miracles to happen and with this wisdom to surely go to heaven. May we live as witnesses and show them our lives. And may, we, may this be a time where we all receive the blessings of being your child. By forced out repentance, may we shine. Father, the light of Christ has to shine upon us for us to live. Now we've realized we can receive this light by doing forced out repentance. So starting from me, may I receive. The world, our country is in darkness. We're worrying about war. By this light, may we cast away the disasters and curses. May we be workers of love and power by blocking that. Let's all call upon the Lord three times. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord.